What up, YouTube? This is Geo Stealth R1. Welcome to another live session. Uh, right now, what we're looking at is the M41 wide body. So, as you guys, I can't even fit this on the screen. Like, I'm massive. This thing is insane. Um, maybe if I go like this, I get a nice shot of it right there. I guess so. Uh, I'll wait uh, a few seconds, make sure people are coming in, and then we'll work on it from that point on. Eli, what's going on? I was just talking to Danny. Um, I'm probably gonna head out there tomorrow, manana. Christian, what's going on? Tracy Lee, what's up? Alrighty. Danny's still ordering parts, so just to give you a heads up, Eli. Alrighty, so let's talk about the M41. There was Lewis LPRC. What's going on? Excellent video, guys. If you guys want to check out his channel, Lewis LPRC. He ended up taking his X Max all over Times Square like a lunatic. <laughs> so uh, definitely check him out. Go on his YouTube channel. Just check out that video. The video was amazing. So, uh, okay, I was going to ask that. Yeah, no, he's still ordering parts. He look at all the stuff that I got for that. I got for that. Picked up a few of those things over here. So yeah. So, uh, yeah, so let's talk about what I have in my Traxxas M41 wide body. So, I'm trying to try to be as stable as possible. I had to get the dual rated. Um, man, Eli, you know more about this than I do, man. I wish you were over here. Uh, everything is from Hot Racing. Uh, I don't know what anything is called. Let me see if I can look it up so I don't sound like a complete fool. All I know is I buy it. And I take it and I install it and that's it. That's uh, that's primarily uh, what I do. Uh, every upgrade that I have on this is from Hot Racing. Um, I'm gonna work for you from my outside in. I'm going on the Hot Racing website right now. Mm -hmm. Awesome some reason let's go back here <laughs> all right so now i got my parts tracks as parts let's go to the m m M gives me max, probably at the end. Uh, wow, maybe it's under boating? Boats. Boat. I got the, ah, here we go. DCB, okay. Oh, it's making me go through another angle of it. So I'm gonna go in each and every one of the parts that I have. Um, and I'll just tell you what parts I, I have installed in this thing. I, I probably didn't have this for like one year and then I'm staying at the hobby shop, so. All right, so that is the uh, 36 millimeter wall cooling jacket. Part number is DCB36WC01. That's installed right there. Um, bullet four, four M prop nut for dog, well, I don't know, dog tra, wherever that is. I'll look that up right here. And that's this piece. I don't know if you can see it. Let me get my hand on it. There we go. That's little, this little bullet piece right there. That part number is, which you'll see right here. There we go. Uh, part number is SPN05, PN06 that you can get on the Spartan as well. Uh, I had to buy this in brass, which is the brass set right here. And the whole set that goes in there, which is right here. And, wow, can you believe, uh, did I spend that kind of money? Am I crazy? Uh, this is the 42-63 brass prop set. And the part number is SPN1000E. Uh, dun, 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 dun. This is the adjustable trim tabs right here, which I do have installed right there. Definitely a nice piece to have on there. Uh, that part number is DCB311AR06. 
And this is the aluminum dual five millimeter bearing drive strut, which is that piece right here and which is right there. And it has a little cool M41 on there. It's pretty nice. That part number is um, DCB38P06. This is the dual pickup rudder blade, which is right here. And that's installed right here. That part number is DCB48DR06. This was a weird buy that I ended up doing right here. That was kind of a weird buy for me. Wow. I don't even know how much that was. Um, when I ended up blowing up my batteries like big burritos, uh, I ended up getting this to cool down my batteries. Uh, part number is SPN126WC. And I have one installed over there. As you can see, the hoses are coming around there. I had to get another pickup. And the other one is right there from Hot Racing. It just fills up with water. Life is good. Uh, I had to buy this. I think this came with it. But I had to buy the dual rated uh, dual water outlet SPN 28WE06 right here. Which, did they mess up on that? They did. They screwed it from the outside in. Wow, I didn't even notice that. That's dirty. I had to buy these parts. SPN 28WL06 cooling hose fuel cover. I don't even know. But it's somewhere over there. That's where the hoses go in. That's that part right there. I have another one over here where it comes in. I think another one right here. It's on that side. And I guess yeah, they, they were putting it all over the place. I don't know. This is the aluminum motor mount. The aluminum motor mount DCB18X06. That would be right there. That's in definitely a nice additive piece that was installed. Uh, what else? What else? I don't think, I think, I think we just went through the whole gambit. All right. So as you can see uh, on the internal components that I have here, since this whole thing has all multicolored, I ended up going with multicolored wire mesh all over this place. All multicolored wire mesh that I ended up throwing in there just to give a little bit added of peace. As you can see, this is my Traxxas uh, link uh, telemetry expander. There's one of the... Um, I don't know which one this is for, but I know I have another one around here. Uh, the heat sink, yes, the heat sink is coming over here for the motor so I can see what my temperatures are on the motor. Uh, I'll have my iPad around that. Uh, what else? The only thing I never changed, which um, even Eli told me, I don't need to change this for now. I don't need it that fast. And you really don't because you know you do a quick turn and this thing is uh, going, you know, gonna turn on a dime. Now, here's the cool thing about getting a boat. Look at all that stainless steel. I wish every one of Traxxas parts came with the stainless steel screw kit. And all of that is directly from Traxxas. All stainless steel. Everything stainless steel. As you can see, this is the Traxxas VXL 6 Marine. All my hoses that are going all over the place. I ended up doing a little bit of a seal around here. And uh, yeah, so let me see. Louis LP RC says, wow, you have the boat out. Dem <laughs> yeah, right. Dem RC says, yo, Gio, Eli says, is that boat ready to run? Finally, Eli, one year later, it's finally ready to run. Is that still the original speed control? That is the original speed control. Remember, I never swapped it out. Remember what destroyed the batteries last time. Smokey B26 says, what's up, Gio? What's going on? Uh, Louis LP RC says, we have to race boats now. Uh, yo, bro, I go with Eli. Um... Eli and a whole bunch of guys from the Bronx, they end up doing a lot of boating. Um, they, uh, in actual, actually, it's on Long Island where we do boats and stuff like that. Uh, Smokey B26 says, where do I get the wire mesh from? The wire mesh is from eBay TechFlex. 
Tech Flex is what you're looking for. All time. I have all colors, man. I have every color out there. White, black, I got chrome. Um, I got what the colors are there? Orange. I mean, I have a whole bunch of stuff. Um, and what else did I have to upgrade? Uh this piece, if you guys are looking at it, it doesn't come with green. I wanted the green one just for it to line up correctly and everything like that. So yeah, I just wanted to give you a part list rundown. Um, I'm going through each and every one of my RCs. Most people don't think I upgrade my RCs, and I do. Uh, if you guys like this live, uh, you need to change that screen control. You're going to balloon your batteries again. Yeah, bro, they, they came out like pasteles. <laughs> um, if you guys are interested in seeing more live feeds and stuff like that, definitely give me a thumbs up. It does help syndicate the uh, RC channel. Uh, I like to bring you, bring you live content all the time. I'm probably going to do two more videos. Uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are asking me about the treads that I bought for the um, TRX4. That was, an, if you're on my Instagram account, you'll be able to see that I installed that. I did get the bearings for that. And I bought a stainless steel screw kit for that. So that was definitely a cool uh, buy when I ended up doing that. So uh, once again, like I said, if you like the, the video content that I have, uh, definitely give me a thumbs up. Um, sooner or later, I'm not going to be util utilizing the iPad, and so you'll get a little bit more of a stable video and stuff like that. So as you can see, my, art, my living room is getting seriously packed with RC stuff, so it's looking kind of crazy. Uh, and I have a special... Special unveiling of the Traxxas Max. You'll see that next week. I already came in with the concept of what I'm going with, and it's totally different than what you're expecting. So uh, hopefully this video is informative to you. Uh, hopefully you guys are able to boat out there. I didn't think I was going to get into the boating thing, and I started hanging out with the guys from Hobby Heroes, and it was pretty cool. I mean, I it's, it's pretty, pretty cool hanging out with the guys. I was barbecuing, and guys were eating, stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, so that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, subscribe, and tell my fellas up on YouTube. Later.